Hey, welcome back. Um, so I don't know about you, but I am getting a little overwhelmed um, with the amount of books <laughs> for the Matra Mabilis, um program. Um, just the amount of books that I have to request from the library and, and keep track of. And so I thought, I, I'm so used to last year, um, with Seton, it was just so easy to open and go. And I, as much as I don't want to do that, I do want to make some things a little more simplified, um, and less work. Um, just all these books, there's just a lot of books, particularly for, um, like science. And I get a little confused because my daughter is joining this program right in the middle of a year it's broken into two and so I'm not the science portion of it she's not doing third grade she's doing second and I get all kinds of turned around and so I organized it for myself <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a couple of different books that I got textbooks that I'll be using also with my son um, these, the science, um, you, it says that you can use them from third through eighth. Um, so that seems like a win-win for me. Um, so let me show you it. Okay. So I wanted something very creation-based for science. Um, it's just, that's how we feel in this house. And, you know, if, if you don't, that's fine. Um, but that's how we are. So even though this isn't Catholic, it is very Bible based. Um, and it doesn't really get into like Protestant theology or anything like that. Um, so this book is life for beginners. I don't know if you can see that. God's design life for beginners. It's a uh, master books. And this is for first and second grade. It might be K through second grade. I'm not quite sure. Um, so we're going to be using this book this year. Um, I mean, we could use it next year also because it's a pretty big book. Um, we don't have to do the whole darn thing. Um, let's see on what day were they created. Um, they have copy work in here, scripture copy work, which I think is pretty neat too. Um, so this one is broken into plants, the human body, and animals. Um, we're not doing the human body this year. Um, so we're probably, this is such a glare. Um, we'll probably be doing animals for sure because that was the focus. Um, and plants. Um, maybe human body next year. So that's this, and that's how thick it is. It's pretty thick. It also has, I think in the back, um, like the answer key for everything. Additional activities. So... Pretty neat. Um, then for my daughter, so these books are supposed to be for third through eighth grade. And she's supposed to be doing weather this year. So I thought, well, we'll just pick out the weather portion of it. Um, weather and water. Um, and it says for, I'm going to find a, so third grade. So read the lesson, do the activity in the light blue, block, blue box, um, and worksheets, which I'll show you that in a minute. Um, test your knowledge by answering the what did we learn questions, which she can do that um, just by narration. She doesn't have to write them down. Um, and assess your understanding by answering the taking it further questions. Um, okay. That is heaven and earth. And so I'll be using this with my daughter for this year for weather and water. 
um, then there's life. And so for we're doing second grade, even though she's third grade, like I said, because we're just starting out with this whole program. Um, so she'll be doing insects, birds, and plants. Um, so luckily we have the world of plants and the world of animals. So to supplement, because I, of course, I've already bought all these other books. I'm, it's not like I'm not going to use them. Um, I have insects in here. So I'm going to use this to kind of supplement and kind of use the other books. Um, well, maybe not the lizard part. <laughs> um, use this as my, more of my main text and use the other ones more as supplemental read for enjoyment and learning. Um, the, the only thing is, is the bird section in here is not very big. Can't even, okay. Um, it's kind of, they group birds and fish in the same thing. So it, when it comes to the bird section, I might actually have to resort back to the other books for the majority of it, and this will be supplemental. Um, I just want to make sure that they are, we have a routine, and I'm not switching around between all these different books and having to buy more books, and it's just, ugh, I don't know. I like open and go, but I, but I also like flexibility, so... I just want to make sure that they're getting all the basics. So um, this is, obviously there's plants. So this section is huge. So she'll have more than enough here. Anyway, moving on. There are teacher guides that come with those. And this is where you'll find, um, they have a lesson plan in here if you wanted to follow it. But there's also worksheets, so I'm just going to make copies of these because I want to be able to use this with my son too. Um, so I'm just going to make copies of these and use them for both. Um, there are quizzes and tests in here as well if that is something that you're interested in, particularly as they get older because you can use this book for such a, a range of ages because it's... You know, kids forget, and it just reinforces the material when you go over it and you have them do that, like the extra sections. This isn't the book for that, but. So here's the other teacher guide. All right. So the other books. <laughs> I'm switching up ancient history. I found on the TAN website, TAN Books, they have these I already have one of them it's the story of the Bible um, the Old Testament and it's so cool it's I got it as an audio download and it has sound effects and it's just it's so neat um, well they have the story of civilization and it goes through different volumes and so because my daughter was going to be doing um, ancient Egypt this year I thought well you know you're like woman get to the books we're going to do the story of civilization. And here it goes from the dawn of history to the conversion of Constantine. So I felt better about doing this because I took a peek at the, um, the Pharaohs of Ancient Egypt book that we were supposed to use for her. And I wasn't really thrilled. And I can just picture my daughter totally zoning out when I'm reading to her from the book. But this is more of like an actual, it's written like a story and is written from, it, it doesn't get into the whole like when the dinosaurs and everything were around, but about nomads and stuff. Um, it's pretty neat too. I found out that the author of this book actually lives here in Michigan. So I thought that was neat. He doesn't live that far away. Um... So you read from this book. This is just one of them. Volume two, I think, is the medieval world. Um, here's the activity book. This thing is super, super neat. So 
actually I like the teacher book even better, the teacher manual, which I'll show you that too. So they have maps. You don't have to do every activity. So for like my son, he can color while I'm reading. Some more coloring sheets. Crossword puzzles. Um, even like how to draw. <laughs> um, and different, there are different crafts in here and things to do. So these are just some of the activities. There's a write a message in hieroglyphics. But this is really where you get the best. So this is super, super neat. So they suggest for elementary, they do narration. Hey, perfect, because that's what we're going for. But they have different um, crafts and things to do in here. They have food you can make, like, this is super cute, Nile River melon kebabs. Um, I saw a pyramid rice crispy treat. Um, archaeology dig, clay tablet. Like, you can do whatever, you know, interests your kids or whatever you feel like you have time for. So fishing pole, a graham cracker parthenon, like how neat, just super neat, Pharaoh's lighthouse, um, so I suggest if you do get this, you should get the whole, get the teacher thing too, the teacher manual, um, they also have this book on audio as a download or CDs, um, but I just wanted the book. I was already spending way too much money. So um, anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you how I'm kind of changing things up. I mean, that is the beauty of homeschooling is you can kind of change things up and, and add and take away and everything. So, um, but, you know, if you want something, a history that's interesting, solidly Catholic, has activities, worksheets, food ideas, all kinds of stuff tan books this is the way to go and if you want a creation based um, science then I think this is um, really great too um, especially for like first and second grade I, I love that there's just copy work and coloring and you know scripture like I just, I really, I think this is great. So, um, just want to keep you abreast of what I'm doing and <laughs> whether or not you want her to see it. So take care and God bless. Bye.